evolution of the tinfoil hat, leak project style. Ladies and gentlemen, Rex Bear Leak Project, I hope you're being excellent to each other. I hope you're being the change that you want to see. I want to show you the evolution of the tinfoil hat right now. As you can see, this is Julian the Architect and Neil Beckman, hip-hop artist. He's been on the show before. His lyrics are very deep and get into a lot of the dark ecstasy that is permeating the world today. And these Leak Project caps, these are the new ones that are coming out. These are MK2s, which stands for Mark II. And this is what they look like. The MK2s aren't going to be the soft chrome. They're going to be the, the shiny chrome to the right. There's going to be a limited run of 70. It's either going to be 70 or 77. I have to confirm with Julian, the architect. But it's going to be a limited run of 70 or 77. Now, the difference between these ones and the original MK1s, which I've only got less than 10 left, these are limited to 33, and you know, I've been taking my time auctioning these. These have been going via silent auction. I'll show you what they look like, just so you know. This is an MK1. It stands for Mark I. And Julian and I decided to make these look like tinfoil caps. So it's a great conversation piece. And when somebody says, oh, you're a conspiracy theorist, where's your tinfoil cap? Where's your tinfoil hat? You can say, oh, it's right here. I'm wearing it. I've had two people recognize me in Pagosa Springs, Colorado at the post office. And when I was actually shipping some of these tinfoil caps to people and also in Park City, Utah, when I was going to a store and a, a gentleman that looked like he worked at one of the bars, like he looked like a bartender because he had the you know, the gear and uh, looked like he was well presented. And, he's, and he said, oh, you Rex Bear from the Leak Project? I said, yeah. And he said, no, you're not. You don't look like, a, like him. I said, yeah, I am. He said, oh, yeah. And he said, well, Nibiru is real. I got pictures of it. And then nice guy. And he said, what do you think? He said, I know you don't believe in Planet X. But anyway, so if you're wearing your Leak Project cap, be prepared to be recognized. Be prepared for somebody to talk to you and be like, oh, hey, how's it going? You're awake. You're not plugged into the Borg system. You actually know about 5G. You know about stratospheric aerosol injections. You know about these mind control traps around the world today. So they're pretty cool. But let me tell you just a little bit about the actual materials used to make these caps. And I'm going to show you some really cool pictures. Neil and Julian, the architect, actually did some really cool video footage of music videos I think they filmed like three or four music videos out there. Neil Beckman, hip-hop artist. I'll leave you his Facebook link. But you can see here, these are the liners. So the liners now are actually sewn into the caps. And the original MK1s, which are limited to 33, the liners are removable. So if you're not wearing your Leak Project cap, you could take that liner and put it in a completely different cap. So this is what the liners look like. They're two different fabrics, and the fabrics will help block and help shield electromagnetic frequency radiation up to 30 gigahertz. That's in the fifth generation communications range, ladies and gentlemen. 5G is using, they're going to be using technologies that are 28 gigahertz. This will help shield up to 30 gigahertz. That's even beyond what my EMF detector will detect. So let me show you what it looks like in the dark. Let these things see a little bit of light, and you'll notice the bill. It's got that yin-yang style, and then it'll say Leak Project on the side there. But it also lights up at night. So if you're wearing the cap, and if you forgot your flashlight, if you, if you forgot your halo, which I know you've ordered one of those halos, right? <laughs> so this is what it looks like in the dark. Let me show you another cool picture. This is out when they were filming that music video. Oh, isn't that pretty? So this is uh, another shot right there. Right there. There's Neil getting ready to bust out the lyrics and change some lives. That's a fascinating picture right there. I like the just the energy, the vibes from that. It'd be neat to go out there on vacation. Look at that vintage car. We just look at it. Thing is awesome. Be fun to drive around. Not many people have one of those, especially in that kind of shape. 
But then, oh my goodness, who's that? Unbelievable. Who's wearing that leak project cap? Will you just look at it? Hello. This is fit. That was 15. They said about 15 minutes from where the royal wedding was, where they were filming this. And I think they even filmed it the same day. <laughs> Coincidence? Synchronicity? League Project, you can see. They're both wearing the League Project caps. This is behind the scenes right here. Oh, it just froze up. Of course. Well, it's frozen up, but while it's loading, I'll just go ahead and turn that off. Yeah, so let me show you real quick here the original MK1s. This is the MK1. You notice the bill that's just the, the beautiful tin foil look right now let me tell you the materials from the mk ones the mark ones limited of 33 these are autographed as well signed by julian the architect and myself for authenticity the outer shell is made of a polyester coated synthetic leather silver chrome look water resistant heat reflective uv light protective removable liner twin layer so the removable liners which I've got my removable liner in here as well. This removable liner is twin layers, high and low frequencies. It is highly conductive. It's highly conductive. See right here. And this fits nicely into the caps. EMF radiation blocking fabrics, silver, copper, including copper, nickel, polyester, and silver fibers. Front badge. So let's go back to the front badge here. Sigil, it's made of a carbon fiber. You'll notice the hand. Now that hand, I designed this symbol with the intent of protection and seeing through the veil of deceit, you know, activating your higher levels of consciousness, your third eye, being the change. You know, this has got the uh, representation of the sun as well as the moon in there. If you look closely, you'll see the moon and the sun and... When I had Thomas Sheridan on the program, I was wearing this cap, and his new book that came out has the symbol of the hand and the sun in the hand, which I thought that was really neat. Thomas Sheridan is very knowledgeable in the occult arts, and he's in Ireland. Very nice person. I'll have him on the show again soon, hopefully. But this, um, so that's made of a carbon fiber that's laminated as well, the, the logo. And... The detail, you know, it's got the web address right here, the leak project, and that is in a black ultra metallic. You can see that. That's in a black ultra metallic. Now, the MK2s, let me show you the MK2 because I've got one here. This is an MK2, and you'll notice this has got the yin and the yang. It's got a little bit of a different carbon fiber badge as far as the color goes. It's a little bit darker orange, and the liners are actually built into these. So these are the MK2s. These are going to be limited to either 70 or 77. I haven't got a confirmation yet how many of these are going to be available for the public. They're also going to be signed and numbered. Let's see if there's anything else different on the MK2s that I wanted to let you know about. Oh, yeah, yeah. So the peak details, photoluminescence, the bill, once again, this bill will actually light up, and if it gets light, you know, let it get a little bit of light from sunlight or, you know, just your inside house, whatever, then this thing will be light at night or when it's dark, so that's really neat. And there you go. I just wanted to share that with you, and let's, let's take a look at these pictures once again. Let's take a look at these guys. This is awesome. I mean, talk about the leak project effect. Totally excited to see this. And once again, I want to thank everybody that has purchased a Leak Project cap. I want to thank you for your generous bids. I was shocked that one of them went for nine Litecoin. And, you know, somebody said, Rex, can you get the price of these cheaper? Well, the MK1s have been a limited run and, you know, of 33 once again, and they're handmade. And the fabrics alone, just for the EMF liners, cost more than what a nice cap would cost to purchase at a department store that's specialized in selling caps. Just the liners alone. 
So they're, they're not cheap, folks. They're, they're expensive to make. And in the future, if they're mass produced, you know, maybe we can get the cost down. I'm sure we'll be able to get the cost down if they're mass produced. But I don't know if we want to mass produce them. So the MK2s, we're going to put a set price on the MK2s. I don't think we're going to auction them. We might auction them. We haven't decided yet. But I do want to let you know that the, you know, the, the cells of the caps are obviously going to help future leak project adventures so I can bring you the cutting edge in what we talk about here at the leak project. So let's go back again. Let's look at these liners real quick. You can see here's the liners, dual-sided. This is what they look like in the dark. And then, so these ones right here, you'll notice these are even a little bit, like they're not as bright. They're kind of like just like a, a dull gray. These are not the MK2s. The MK2s are going to be that bright tinfoil, silver, chrome looking, shiny looking fabric like I just showed you. These are new ones that are going to be coming out. We're going to call these like MK3s, Mark 3s or something. These are just kind of prototypes. We're still working with what we're going to do on the third generation of caps. And we're also going to be coming out with a lot of new products that are going to be using certain shielding as well to help block some of these cell phone towers, electromagnetic frequency radiation, and the, the routers, and the, the smart meters, and all the EMFs that are just constantly bombarding people. It's not V for Vendetta, folks. It's LP for Leak Project. Be excellent to each other. Be the change you want to see.